Hey, it's Poke. Today, I want to run down every single weapon class in Splatoon 3 just to see which weapons from each class run well with opening gambit. Now, lately, I know, I know, I get it. I've been on a bit of an opening gambit craze, but it's only because, listen, hear me out, it's only because I think the ability is actually good. It's just that not many people run it because they don't know what weapons it runs well on. You know, like a lot of people kind of fell back on Splattershot Nova for Gambit. And honestly, me personally, there's other weapons that run well with it. I already have a video out talking about that stuff, like the five or six best weapons that run well with Gambit. So feel free to check that out after this. But for now, I want to go ahead and run down through every single weapon class to figure out which weapon from each class runs well with opening gambit uh and i'll start off we have the shooter class now i'm actually just gonna go ahead and split this class into two uh first of which being like the generic shooter class you know like from everything from like the splatter shot nova to the gals and like the splashes of the juniors everything that's just like automatic gun right i'm gonna split that between that class between that like subclass and the like nozzle nose class where it's semi-automatic so we have the automatic class and semi-automatic class i guess uh, but from the automatic class i gotta say that the nzap 85 probably the best automatic weapon you can use for gambit probably the best just because you know cooler something you can fall back on and well i know i know i get it Splatter Shot Nova, you know, everyone talks about it when it comes to Gambit, it's a great weapon, and admittedly, it is good. It's a good weapon for Gambit. However, I prefer a weapon that can actually secure kills and is something to fall back on in case you actually don't get anything. Um, so for me, and it's F85, the go-to automatic weapon for Gambit. For semi-automatics though, I gotta say, it, it's, it has to be the H3 Nozzle Nose. Now again, same reason as the F85, it has cooler to fall back on. But at least with the H3, pumps out a lot of damage, and if you don't hit a lot of directs with it, that's fine. You know, like, it's okay. As long as you hit them with point sensor or give your teammates cooler, you still get assists. Because something that uh, I think Evie, one of my friends, pointed out during my stream was that for teammates with cooler on, you actually get an assist for every kill they get. Therefore, if you use cooler, you actually get more of a benefit with Gambit since they're just feeding you assists. So it's actually pretty good. But just overall, for semi-automatic weapons, H3 Nozzle Nose, has to be like the perfect one for Gambit. Next up though, for the roller class, I have to say that the Big Swig Express is probably the best one, honestly. It's by far the best one. Now I know what other weapons such as the Vanilla Splat Roller and Kraken may actually be more beneficial. And hell, maybe even Carbon Roller Deco or even, even the Base Carbon Roller are pretty good. I gotta say that the Express is just the overall best weapon to use for Gambit simply through its assist power you know because with swick it's all about ship damage especially with the express it's all about ship damage whether it be through marker ink storm or the main weapon itself it's all about ship damage and therefore if you're able to get ship damage on a few opponents and your teammates are able to follow up that's really good especially for gambit and honestly i think the weapon is just like the weapon has a better potential to kill than the base big swick does so if anything i say run this because so i think if you're able to hit one horizontal direct followed up by a uh, angle marker. It's actually an insta kill, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that, that's for the rollers. Next up, though, we have the chargers. Now, I talked about this. I, now I talked about a charger being good for Gambit in my last video. If you guys want to check that out, in my last video, I talked about how Squiffer was actually really good. And honestly, that opinion has stayed the same. Squiffer is actually pretty good. Now, while you can argue that maybe a pencil or maybe Gootuber would be good since Gootuber has torpedo missiles and you know, pencil has cooler, honestly, I gotta say Squiffer is still the better weapon just because of how aggressive you can be with it you know it's a very aggressive weapon if you choose to be and it's very good for gambit it's also very good especially with point sensor uh next up though we have the sloshers now i'm not even gonna sugarcoat this try slosher nouveau same reason as like the nzap 85 and, and the h3 nozzle nose it is cooler to fall back on you know it's great the overall try slosher is just really freaking good fizzy helps out with it a lot cooler helps you get assists and helps out with, when gambit's not active it's overall just a really good weapon. Now for these Splatlings, it becomes a little more difficult because while you do have weapons such as the Mini Splatling and Zimmy, which are very good for securing kills, you also have weapons such as the Hydra and Nautilus, which also have the potential to, you know, just secure kills as well and, you know, get assists. But honestly, I think out of every single Splatling in this lineup, the Heavy Splatling Deco might be the one that you might have to go to when it comes to running Gambit. Now, while admittedly, you know, Nautilus isn't a bad pick, it's really not a bad pick at all. I just, honestly, I think just running Heavy Deco might be better, since with the Kraken, you can actually secure kills, 
unlike with Inkstorm, which is kind of like, you can only really get a kill if you're very lucky, you know? Now, something I will admit is that Gambit does not run well on any spelling, in my opinion. I don't think it runs well in any of them, uh, unless you're just a very aggressive ballpoint or heavy deco you're really going to struggle with Gambit. So honestly, in my opinion, I don't think Gambit's worth running on a spelling. But if you want to run one, Heavy Deck goes right there. Next up though, for the Duelies, I got to say, for the Duelies, it's a split between either the base Dapples or the Dooley Squelcher itself. Because honestly, Dooley Squelcher, very good for getting damage, uh, for getting kills. I've been having a lot of fun using the Custom. However, Custom's aren't really that great for opening Gambit. So honestly, it's either a split between Dooley Squelchers and Dapple Duelies. I'm honestly leaning a bit more towards the Apple Duelies though, admittedly, because at least Dapples has cooler, and you can run quick respawn with Dapples. Honestly, you're getting quick respawn anyways with a lot of these weapons, but I think honestly for the Duelies, it has to be a split between the vanilla Dapples and the vanilla Duelies Squelchers, so um, pick a poison, I guess. Next up though, we have the Brellas. Now for the Brellas, I will admit, a bit more iffy on which ones can run well, uh, since Splat Brella, great, and eh, not awesome, but eh. Undercover is okay, you know it's pretty bad, but eh, whatever. Uh, but I think out of all the Brellas in the game right now, by far the best one for Gambit has to be the Tenacerella Brella due to its power to just be very, very aggressive. You know, Ink Mine helps with getting assists and potentially kills if you get them low enough. Uh, and Ink Strike, it's just a great special, you know? I think we all figured that out from the 2 minute Rezuka's challenge. It's a great special, bit iffy, but it gets the job done if you choose to. Now next up though for the blasters, I gotta say that the Rapid Blaster Pro Deco has to be the best one by far for using opening Gambit. I mean, while I really wish S-Blast was on this list to be like the best weapon used for Gambit for blasters, it's really not, honestly, it's really not. And just Rapid Blaster Pro Deco should be the one to go to if you really want to use Gambit. Since Marker can do chip damage and you can get assists through that, and Killer Whale can also do the very same as well. And honestly, the weapons are very good. I've been seeing it a lot lately. So just overall, Rapid Blaster Pro Deco is pretty good for opening Gambit. Not really something I would go to since all blasters kind of struggle with Gambit, but if you really want to use Gambit with the blaster, Pro Deco, by far the one you should go with. Uh, now for the brushes, I gotta admit that Pain Brush, it's still the, probably the better one to use. Well, you can argue that maybe you can run the normal Ink Brush and do well with the Gambit. I gotta say Pain Brush for its two shots to kill, it's got, gotta be the better one for Gambit, honestly. It's gotta be the better one. It needs some adjustments. Admittedly, I talked about this in my last video. Uh, it needs a few adjustments in terms of like chunks when it comes to like Ink Saver Sub, Ink Saver Main, all that stuff. Uh, it definitely needs some chunks to help it do well. But if you give it what it needs and give it Gambit, it can do actually, it can actually do really well. So. Honestly, for the brushes, gotta go with a good old paintbrush. Uh, next up, though, we have the stringers, right? Stringers? That's what, the, that's what we call these? Yeah, the, the bows. Uh, I gotta go with the base tri-stringer. Honestly, only because the weapon's very good for getting chip damage. Toxic Mist helps with, you know, providing support and getting assists. And same goes for Killer Whale. You know, like, it's just very good. The weapon just breathes like like a like a long range version of the Nova, you know, like it's just it's very good, honestly, it's very good. But finally, for the final weapon class in the game, we have these Platanas, and for this weapon class, I gotta go with a Vanilla Wiper. That weapon with Torpedo and Stamp is very good for landing kills and assists, and overall just making sure Gambit runs very well. Now, admittedly, something I will admit for just every single weapon class in this game, if you're going to run a Slayer weapon with Gambit, something to take note of is that you have to play very aggressively the entire time. There's not a single moment you can let up and play passively with the Slayer. You have to go balls deep with the Slayer if you really want to use Gambit. So that is kind of a downside, you know, just keep that in mind if you do want to use that. Uh, but out of the Spatanas, though, by far best one is the Vanilla Viper. But that's all I gotta talk about for today. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you guys think? Uh, do you guys agree with my list of weapons for each class, or do you guys think that a few of them are a bit iffy? Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Feel free to do all the generic YouTuber stuff of like, subscribing, commenting, maybe even the bell if you choose to. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Kill.